My name is Evie Hartmann. This is part two of our hip flexor release exercise. Before you do this video, please watch step one of the hip flexor release exercises and also um, watch the video where I teach the arch and flatten. So these are the prerequisites for this video. So, to start now, I'll first show you an exercise that is not yet to release the hip flexors, but just to kind of get used to the general movement. Because with this exercise now, we will release the hip flexors, we also, at the same time, we lengthen the front of our body, and it's often a pattern that when the hip flexors are tight, the, um, we tend to be also a little bit stooped or rounded in the shoulders. And um, sometimes when the special psoas is tight, kind of the back, the lower back is, is a kind of um, arched back, and, but the psoas that attaches to the lumbar spine she pulls us forward a little bit too. So we release uh, the hip flexors, but also lengthen here at, um, like at the front of our body. So to start out with, just um, put the right hand behind your head, lift the right leg, and put the left hand on the right knee. And I'll show you this now all on the right side and then we do the same thing on the left side also. So to start out with, we'll arch our back away from the mat and then we lower our back and when the lower back is flat on the mat, then we lift the head and we bring the knee and the elbow closer together. And then we go back down again and we do this with our breath. Breathe in, arch your back and breathe out. Lower the back, let it flow down. This is important. Really feel that the, the back is really down flat and then you lift the head and bring the knee closer together. So you breathe in again, you arch your back and breathe out and bring the elbow and the knee together. And just do this just as far as is comfortable. This is not important that what I just did that you touch the knee or so because already when you lift the head a little bit it gives an impetus to tighten the, the muscles in the front and then to release. So, so you do this three times, so when you're clear with this movement, now, again, we'll start, we'll put the right hand behind our head and raise our knee. And now, put the hand in front, on your, in front of the knee. So you start the same movement, you Arch your back, breathe in, lower your back, breathe out, and when the back is flat on the mat, then you raise your head a little bit, you push into your hand, and then ease off with your leg and let the leg come down till the foot is flat on the mat, lower the head, Feel the lengthening, flex your foot and slide the leg down. And feel you slide down, feel the lengthening from the groin area, the hip area, all the way up to the hips. So we'll do this three times. So you bring, you slide the knee up and bring flat, then you lift your head, bring your knee 
breathe, close up, push into the hands, you're tightening the sit flexors more, then ease off with your leg, slowly lower the leg till the leg is flat, the foot is on the mat, lower the head and tilt the foot, slide the leg down and feel the lengthening in this whole front and do this one more time, bring the knee up, raise the leg so the knee balances over the hip, put the hand on the knee, arch your back and lower your back and once it's flat, and that's important, bring the head up, push with the knee to your hand, slowly ease off with the knee, lower your head and flex your foot and lengthen, slide the foot down to lengthen the hip flexors. So when you have done this, just lower the other leg too and notice Notice if there's any difference. Does this feel more relaxed, more lengthened on the side edges of the exercise? And then go ahead and do it on the other side too. And um, I just want to say again, it is really important when you bring the head up and you know, put the knee towards the chest, that that before that your, your back needs to be flat on the mat because it's really, some people get confused with this and then I'd rather want them just to do this that one exercise because if you go up and you have your back muscles tight, then you can imagine this, you can hurt yourself, you know, you, you obviously need to first really relax these muscles and then you come up. So I just want to make sure that you are aware of this and it's just always when you do this just do it within your range of motion and this should not hurt at all. Matter of fact you should enjoy this. So try this at home and see you next time.